Hi guys, and welcome to another video. So in today's video, I'm doing a very fun collab with that Willa Andrews. So in this video, it's basically me showing how I interpreted the prompt Celestial Creature. And right after this video, definitely go check out her video of her interpretation of the prompt. Anyways, that's all that I have to say for the intro, so enjoy this beat paint. Hey, so I'm going to quickly interrupt here to get the shout out of the week. So the shout out this week is Lucid Dread. She didn't actually ask for a shout out herself, but she is one of my close friends and just started her YouTube channel for art videos and she actually already uploaded a video, so make sure to go check it out. And if you would like a shout out in my next video, just leave a comment down below with hashtag Briar. <laughs> So as you can see right now, I am pretty much completely done all the coloring and shading for the character, but now came the part that I struggled with the most, the background. No idea what I was going to do. But then I came up with an idea that I personally think is really cool. So when I was drawing it, I had already decided that I wanted the character to be some sort of representation of the sun. And then I decided that I kind of wanted to draw a picture of her running away or leaving her home to represent a sunset. What I ended up doing was drawing this palace kingdom thing in the sky so that her leaving her home would represent the sun leaving the sky and the sunset. Time for a love potion, a little sweet and spice. Throw it all in a cauldron, mix it up real nice. Fire in my eyes, stir counterclockwise. I dream of you all night. This is the moment, no turning back One drop on your lips and the spell will take effect Under the moonlight, stay close to my side We're burning so bright getting pretty close to the end and I once again struggled with the background because I wanted it to be very colorful but at the same time it was so bright and vibrant that it was overtaking the character. the 
final drawing. I absolutely love how it turned out and I'm so glad I got to do this collab. Now definitely go check out Willa's Instagram and YouTube where you can find her own video. And of course, make sure to give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And if you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe. I know everybody asks for it, but it really helps me out a lot. And I'm trying to reach my goal of 1k by the end of the year. So make sure that you check out Willa Andrews and Lucy Dread down below. And that's all that I have to say for now. So remember to stay weird and I will see you guys next time. Bye!